we are at Walker's Mill Station of, of the Panhandle Trail in Rennerdale. This is the most packed I have ever seen this trail. It is a balmy Sunday in the morning and it's already hitting the high 70s. Supposed to go to the 90s today. Let's go for a ride. GoPro, stop recording. So we actually had to park across the street from the trailhead, which I've never had to do before. This trailhead is very busy today, apparently. We're gonna go behind you, pal. Thank you. Hey, there's a spot here now. <laughs> so like I said, Panhandle Trail, Walker's Mill Station, we're in Leonardale, PA. And if this trailhead is any indication, we're in for a lot of crowds today. You ready? Let's roll. We have a goal today. End to end. So it's a 29 mile trail. We'll make it our longest trip ever. In fact, it we're supposed to go into the 90s today, make her tail that. I have done a video on the McDonald to Burgettstown section already, I believe. Yep, most people we've ever seen on the trail ever. Uh huh. It's a neat little trail, it's very wide in the beginning, has all the stuff, has the rock quarry over there. They do concerts here, they have events, so this part of it is a nice park. There are hiking trails over there. The signs say that, that they are difficult. But you're also supposed to be able to dig for fossils over there. So you go for a ride and do a difficult trail and hunt for fossils, found a place for you. Nope. For years it was empty and boarded up. And I thought, well, why? Why did you board up what looked to me was great, but didn't look like it was falling down? Now I wonder if we'll see another house that's built on it. I wonder where you come into that. You know, from what road? Oh, that little valley over there. Yeah. And where they're building all that. On the other side of this bridge. We've been on that bridge. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Takes you up to the old Nike site. Oh, all right. One of the cool things about this trail is that it has so many trailheads. We're really pretty suburban here. All right, hurry, Jeep coming. The Walker's Mill Station is the closest station to our house, not only of the Panhandle Trail, but of any trail. It's only a few miles away from our home. Ooh, that's new. These are probably the smartest people around. Helicon. I don't know if I'm saying it right. This is the Oakdale Station. Helicon is a microbrewery. Very popular. Before COVID, we're good. Before COVID, boy, that place was packed all the time. Got pinball machines in there. 
And then you go across the bridge over there into Oakdale. There's a place there called the Oakdale Diner. Good food, huge portions, decent price. No, I don't work for them. I just appreciate their place. Great fish sandwich. Uh -oh. This is probably the hairiest part of this trail until you hit West Virginia. See, and it's done. West Virginia gets a little rough as you head in towards Weirton. Let's see if we make it there today. We going to Weirton today? Uh, maybe <laughs> just the line. Just oh the line? Goodness. Just the line. Ah, that won't be the full 29 miles. That's okay. <laughs> Okay then, she's drawing the line. I'm drawing the line. Alright. Is he waiting for us? He is waiting for us. Thank you. This is kind of a point of pride for us because at that four and a half mile mark where we used to have to do our turnaround. Now granted a lot of time we were racing the sun. We had to get back before it was dark. Four and a half miles was our, our turnaround point. And we are going to, going to go a lot further than that today. They're digging a drainage ditch here. I get a kick out of those trailers. I had one for my kids when they were little. Called it a rickshaw. I've never seen them before. I got one for my kid. Now they're ubiquitous. And then I stopped riding. And it's been in my basement ever since. Hey. This is new. They have a new bathroom. They have a new pavilion. Looking nice. So like I said, the uh, this trail at least that trailhead is the closest to our house we are also close to the montour trail at the valley brook station but these are the kind of trails that we are used to smooth and wide not rutted no mud and stuff to look at yes i am making a i am casting aspersions to another trail that i'm just not going to mention anymore Trailheads are packed. I'm going through the gate. On the Panhandle Trail, on the Panhandle Trail, you can tell when you've hit Washington County. It is paved from here to West Virginia. Smooth, smooth traveling. And you know, it doesn't have the ripples that so many other trails have with the roots and. Yeah. No, watch it. I've said that. We'll hit 20 of them. But it's, you know, and they have them marked with the green paint, so it's not bad. Certainly not bad. It's wonderful. Hello. We're coming into. McDonald, PA, covered bridge that was for the Wilson Farm, the Wilson Mill. It was, this was originally a rail line. That bridge was moved from another location. So how smart are they? Bike trail, right up, bike shop right off the trail. Good. We're good, we're good. <laughs> and and I have that on video. It was May. Yeah. <laughs> we 
That is the McDonald Viaduct on the Montour Trail. So to our right, from the north, that will be part of the Great American Rail Trail. To the left, we'll continue on and connect with Clareton, and we'll connect with the Great Allegheny Passage on that side as well. So either way, we'll get you to Washington, D.C. This is the new uh, Pennsylvania Turnpike Extender, 579. Amazing. One of the cool things about this trail is uh, it is so smooth. You got rollerbladers. It's a good exercise place for them. They can go for miles and it'd be a lot of fun. This is a junction. It's even called the Junction Station. This is how you get to the Montour Trail. It meets up here. And then from here on, this is all part of what would be the Great American Rail Trail. Connecting Washington, D.C. with Seattle, Washington. 4,000 miles of dedicated bike trail. It's about 52% complete. Pretty sure this will be a, an exit ramp for the new turnpike. I'm guessing. Private driveway. You can see the uh, where the where the rails were. They're so small and far, I don't know if this camera will get them. Yeah. A lot of little birds flying around. It would be nice to get them on video. But experience has taught me probably not. I just like this part right here. It's for sale. Yeah. I'll give him 50 bucks for it. Third one of these today. Want to have another drink of water in the shade up here? I, I could be persuaded.
know, I just turned it on. Obstacle course. <laughs> That's gonna look cool on the camera though. Hit. Hit, 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 hit. <laughs> like a video game. Nice and cool, shady area. <sighs> and as promised, the end of the asphalt is the end of Pennsylvania. Keep going. Sounds good. It's not really that far down here. So we've entered West Virginia, so we have a different committee, whatever, maintains the trail here. It's not so bad right here, but the closer you get to Weirton, the worse it, get, it gets. I didn't hear it. Did he have a bell? Yeah, I heard his bell. I didn't hear the bell. Right. right down here in the shade, maybe? Collier Station. So it says the trail is closed ahead and there's a trail detour. It goes down on the road. So we have actually taken that detour. My wife isn't fond of it, so we won't be doing that today. So this is gonna be our turnaround. We have done 27.3. So this will be our longest ride ever. Just outmatching the other one by a couple miles. And the state line. After the detour back there, the trail gets markedly worse, which is why we didn't do the whole 29 miles. But hey, 27.3 ain't so bad.
And again, the access to the Montour Trail. The new 576. Yeah, 576. Montour Viaduct. And the end of pavement, the end of Washington County. 17 miles of paved bliss. We've broken another milestone for us, another record for us. This is now the furthest we've ever gone on these bikes. We are now at 52 miles. Our previous record was 51.5. So it's only the second time we've done over 50 and we've exceeded last time. And I'm smelling the barn and every inch we go from here back to the car is more than we've ever ridden ever. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! That is the radar tower for the old Nike site that used to be up there. Just has some personal family connections, that's all. That, my friends, is the Panhandle Trail. Maybe not all 29 miles of it, but 27.3. Uh,